welcome to the PFD Performance YouTube channel. Pretty friggin' deadly. Hello, and welcome to the first drive and potentially new Cadillac. That's right, another one. Insert DJ Khaled yelling. This one might be a bit more coachy than the other one. It. It's got good. some stuff in the back, like a couch. We got work good. front couches. 17 miles of hood. And another Ooh, four miles cool. of dash. Fake wood that's loose and squeaky. More fake wood. Real pull handles. That's a go handle if I've ever seen one. That's right. Roham! Roham! We have some talking to do, and then slight body roll. That where it's the 10 foot wide leather couches that don't hold the guy. That have like six layers of armor all. Yeah, we'll uh, take you for a boo around the outside here. I have a feeling it's gonna go on a trailer. I think so. Behind your truck and come home. Well, not quite home. No, it's making a pit stop. Oh, we gotta show him. I get to work on it right away. Yeah. All right, uh, cooler heads prevailed. We're gonna uh, either risk it to get the biscuit and just drive it home, or we'll find a dry parking lot to uh, load it up on because she's a little slick, especially with only the uh, rear tires operating. So we'll uh, catch you when we get her loaded up. All right, well, we got her home. We just loaded it up in the shop. We'll call this the Craigslist side. Even though she's got a little crease in her, nothing Danny can't look after. Some dingage. But uh, it's long. Yeah. I think I read this was the longest production car of that year. Well, when we've got my boss's full-size Ram one ton, it, I park the back bumper against the wall and the front bumper sits in like the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. So we might have jumped the gun a little bit on this project. We've still got Danny's Malibu to work on, but this was a deal we couldn't pass up. This is going to be like hardcore. Malibu's not super hardcore. This is going to be hardcore. Yeah. And the reason we got such a good deal is this is definitely not the Craigslist side. But it's honestly not that bad. Danny looked at it. Ryan looked at it. And like it's just cosmetic. It's nothing into the structure. But it was enough that it wrote this 93 off. So we're going to be up against a salvage inspection. So what did we figure, Danny? There's a power steering pump leak we need to look at. Power steering pump leak, headlights, windshield. And then uh, fix the dent. That steering coupler thingy. Yeah, there's a boot on the, uh, boot on the steering shaft. We'll find a way to fix it up so it passes. Tires. 
tires are in 05 date code so yeah they're like 17 years old oh january it's Eight, 18, 18 years old yeah so yeah those no bueno but they're a super common size so like yeah, what are they 15s or 16s about that big ah the old 215 70 15 i'm sure there's a metric ton of those probably even just cruise the uh kijiji and find a set for 15 bucks or honestly pick and pull if they're not yeah just find old. something cheap to throw on there for now oh and we'll have to take the front tint off front tint's gonna come off a couple like i mean we could also just oh. take it there with the tint and see best part about this car ain't stealing our emblem but honestly we could send it in there with the tint and see if they flag it while we'll peel it off just peel it off yeah might as well just peel it off i think i mean i'd be inclined to just it'd be nice to keep it keep it and if they think like they might not think it's an issue because in in reality i look at it we as soon as we drive out that door we could have done it after it left the shop so but yeah, it's a 1993, so unfortunately she doesn't have the high horsepower LT1. But she's got a nice 5.7. It'll do 180 a, horse. It'll do a snow burnout. Snow burnout, it'll do. I doubt it would do it on dry pavement. There's so many buttons. Inside, driver's seat's a little cracked. Other than that, it's just a little dirty. Yeah. She needs a clean up. Nice couch. Ooh, push pop. It's empty. But yeah. That's it. So, we're still not super sold on, you know, exactly how this is going to go. Each door has a cigarette lighter, not just the ashtray, but the lighter too. Oh, oh decadent. That's, that's it's 90s luxury. 90s luxury for sure. So yeah, we're not 100% sure of the exact sequence. I think what we'll probably do is just try and get it to pass a salvage inspection and get that out of the way. But in reality, the Malibu will probably take priority over this. It'll just be faster. And then this will end up, it'll probably be a longer project. We might take her to the drag strip and see what it uh, runs in factory form. And then uh, see if we can't get her on a diet and increase the power. Yep. Boost. We've got a 5.3 that we'll pick up. Turbo. As you can see, the eight mile long hood has lots of room underneath it for accessories. So, yeah. I like it. I'm happy. It's kind of fits fits our our brand. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah. Unnecessary. I don't know. Like we've been talking about it, and the fact that everyone is asking us why we're doing this car is exactly why I think we should be doing this car. So. I think Danny's got to get back to doing a little bit of work. I got to go spend time with the girls before I got to head back to work. So I think this is where we'll uh, leave her off. Just, just breathe her in. Maybe before we take it in for the salvage inspection, we could go with the uh, like metallic duct tape, I think so. like the tin tape. Yeah. Just a little bit more shine to yeah. her. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just breathe her in. I'm actually really excited to get this on the road and just cruise it. Aww. Did it fall out? I think it's... Oh, I see. The screw head just is able to pull through the hole with no plate. Would be my guess. Surprised they made it home. Yeah, me too. I barely touched it. 
Oh yeah. I'm really excited to just get this on the road and cruise it as it is for a little while. All right, take it easy. Stay deadly. Oh, I hope you can see that because that yeah, was nice. satisfying. That just popped out, dude. Yeah, I don't know if I can get All right, we've had this one half in the closet for a while, but we figured now that mayhem's over, it was time to share it with you all. We have some pretty big plans for this, but we haven't quite finalized them yet. Biggest thing now is still trying to get it through the salvage inspection. We've got uh, quarter panels to fix up, a uh, horn to fix up, and a light bulb to replace, and still need to scrape that uh, tint off. But hopefully we can get through that now that we're not thrashing for mayhem and document it and share it with you all as we go through it. Once again, stay deadly.